Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Hello, back already? That was quick. Yes, luckily our office is just down the street. Great. I shall also need a copy of your own ID in the warrant letter. You can fill in one here. Oh, I see. Next time, you can get one from the counter over there. Or before you come in, you can download one from our website. It's really easy. Hello. What can I do for you today? I've got some documents here that go with the LCR company opened 10 days ago. I think there is something wrong. Really? Have you checked everything carefully? Very carefully. That's when I found the problem. Ah, I see. The goods description is totally different from what you were expecting, right? Yep, you've got it. What should we do? Usually, if the problem is insignificant I advise the customer to go ahead. It's normally a translation problem or something like that. But this does seem a little more serious. I suggest you get back on to them right now and ask them about it. Hopefully you can sort it out over the phone. That's a great idea. Thanks for your help. Right. Let me run through your options. You can go ahead and cash your undue large amount deposit certificate if you really want to, but I'd recommend a personal durable commodities loan. Okay. What does that entail? It's not too much trouble to do it this way and remember, your certificate is due in two months. If you can hold on to it, it'll be much better for your finances. Yes. It does seem a little silly to cash it now. I'll probably need about 25,000 rib. Will that be a problem? Not at all, Mr. Zhu. As the certificate is due in two months, you can get the loan on mortgage of that certificate. I'm glad you thought of this. I'd have just gone ahead and cashed it. And I suppose I can use the money from the certificate to pay back this personal durable commodities loan and I won't lose any interest, right? Exactly right. If you'd like to go ahead, I can process that for you now, Mr. Zhu. Absolutely, Jenny. Thanks very much. I think you've saved me quite a lot of money today. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for asking. What can I do for you? Do I owe any fees? You sure do. Could you tell me how much I owe? You owe $235.13 in fees. I can't believe that. When will you be paying these fees off? I'll pay them off right now. Cash or check? I will pay with cash. Would you like me to go into a little more detail about the free services we can offer you? Yes, please. I really am an absolute amateur when it comes to this stuff. No problem. First of all, we can provide a business license. Secondly, Enterprise ID certificates, Forex registration and... Forex registration? Yes, foreign exchange registration for bank drafts, bills of exchange and so on. Also, approval of RIB accounts, capital verification and so on. Good day. Welcome to Lincoln Bank. How may we assist you? Hello. I need to find out if a receipt of proceeds has arrived. I'm from Felix Wasserman Associates. Thanks. Have you got the L.C. number? 
its NX 567,822,100,007. Hang on a tick and I'll check for you. I'm sorry. We have no record of that arriving. Okay. Thanks for checking. Could you give me a ring when it arrives, please? No problem. I'll be in touch as soon as it comes in. Hello, sir. Are you still there? Yes, I'm here. What details do you need from me? Did you check with reception at your hotel? Yes, I did. But nobody has handed it in as yet. Okay, that's fine, sir. We just need to ask you some questions for security purposes. Please, go right ahead. Could I have your name, please? And do you know your card number? I'm Mike Kowalski and my card number is 5,211,678.44, but there are some other numbers at the beginning. I'm not sure what they are. That should be fine, Mr. Kowalski. And your PIN number? It's 671,029, my birthday. Silly to choose such a simple one, I suppose. That's completely natural. Most of our customers do the same thing. Could you just hold for a moment, please? Thank you. Good afternoon. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to make a deposit. Which type of deposit do you prefer? Time deposit or current deposit? I prefer time deposit. Okay. The interest rate for time deposit is higher. Could you tell me it's RIB deposit or currency deposit? RIB deposit. Is it your first time to make a deposit here? Yes. The term of time deposit ranges from three months to five years including three months, six months, one year, two years, three years and five years. How long would you like to keep your deposit? Six months. Fill in this slip in ink, please. Here you are. All right. Just a moment, please. Thank you. Good morning, sir. How may I help you? I'd like to open an account. Certainly, sir. Would you like to open a time deposit savings account or a checking account? Actually, I'd like to open one of each, if that's possible. No problem, sir. What sort of time deposit account would you like to open? What are my choices? The minimum time period is three months. The longer the period, the higher the interest rate. If you withdraw your money before time is up, there are penalties. Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.